boy, my boy Trev said, what's your goals for 2023? Um, uh, I'm a person that I don't really, I have a, a shit ton of goals, but my biggest goal is just always gonna be, be like 1% better today than I was yesterday type shit. So whatever I did last year, I don't really, I couldn't tell you, like, this many plays on this, this much growth on Twitch, and this much on whatever, but I'm just going to try to 10x whatever the fuck I did last year. So, I don't know how much I made, but I'm just going to try to 10x it. So, it's just, I just keep it simple like that, because I feel like if you do that, then you don't stress yourself out with, oh, I got to make six figures on this aspect of my life if you just... Appreciate where you are right now and just try to do a little bit more. You uh, get really far in life. When are you coming to Australia? I believe there's a um, tour being booked and or being thought about being booked right now. So if I had to put a time frame on it, which you, you don't really want to put time frames on anything because I can get an email tomorrow that's like, Yo, it's booked and we're flying out in February. So, um, but I would say sometime in the spring, late summer, if that. But whenever it happens, it's just going to be amazing because I know Australia's been waiting for a long time to see uh, to see your boy. So, yeah, that'll be great. Um. Man, Jojo Mango says, when did you start, when did you start to take music seriously? Um, shit, since I started, I kind of take everything serious. That's like one of, like, if you ask people who know me, they kind of like, oh, he do everything really serious. But I just think you, my mindset is just make the most out of everything you do. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. So I just, everything is serious to me. Um. I am a fun person, goofy person, like you get to know me type shit, but if it's something that like could help me get to where I want to go, which is like take care of my tribe and, you know, give opportunities to people around me that like they didn't have those opportunities, then I got to be the most serious one because, you know, I love everybody, but it's one of their, you know, biggest faults could be they didn't take this little thing serious. Like, so I explained, I was talking to Ryan uh, yesterday or today, actually, when we were at the uh, Berlin airport about like how me making my bed every day at 4.05, like I wake up at four, me making my bed every day, how that's a very serious thing for me because now when I come back from the gym, I'm less inclined to lay on my bed and lollygag and be less productive. I'm like, looking at that made bed every morning is like, yo man, you've been doing that shit every day for two years. Man, you better stream, you better do something. Like you can't go to bed unless like, you know, rest in peace, Kobe, but job's not finished. So I have a job's not finished mentality where it's like, it's very serious and it's very strict and it's very tight, but I'm knocking down a lot of goals and I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't change that. I wouldn't give that for the world, so. I'm about to change the angle just slightly right, so right. it just doesn't look the same the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. This one says the dirty the dirty name. It goes favorite thing Mama Saber cooks. That I, I don't have an answer for that because she gonna come up with some caramel brown sugar cinnamon something tomorrow. So it's whatever she's making in the kitchen today. I'm a, I'm a very I'm also talking to Ryan about this today. It's like I really appreciate the present. So whatever she making today. That's that's the best shit on planet Earth, cause you know my mom really know what she's doing. So shout out to my mama and shout out to all mamas that you know know how, know what they doing in that kitchen, cause that's a that's a real skill right there. So um, everything everything um, kind of sucks, cause I've been on my like little health lately. So I you know she just made some homemade cinnamon rolls for New Year's and I had to skip those because I didn't want you know some sugar in me. But uh, shit. You know, it's, it's tough, man, but you gotta, you gotta stay strong, so. Everything, my mom is an amazing cook, so shout out to my mom. In 
in what ways can I place my own songs to any social media? Um, I don't really get that question, but I would say have a distributor like DistroKid or uh, TuneCore, and they'll blast. You have options where you can see where your uh, your songs go, and just make sure after you do that, you gotta manually do it for YouTube. It would get your song on YouTube Music, but you should have a channel where you upload your own stuff to a separate YouTube and uh, SoundCloud. And then, like, if you're super in tune to like you know global sounds and everything like that, you have to understand what VK is. VK is like Russian Facebook and stuff like that. You'll have to manually upload your songs to VK as well. Um, but yeah, just have a distributor that does it all for you so you don't have to do, you know, all of it. Um, you can hire somebody to do that or you can distribute yourself, you know, and figure it out. There's many like YouTube videos out there that show you like how to run your business and how to get paid for your music and stuff like that. So um, hopefully that helped out a little bit. If you weren't doing music and slapping kids and on Apex, what would you be doing? Um, probably, <clears throat> probably training people to get the best body that they could possibly get, or you know, probably motivational speaking or something like that. Um, questions like this are kind of like always. I don't want to say weird. Um, always like, I'm not a firm believer in like if, like oh, like if I had wings, I could fly type thing. I kind of always just. I am who I am, so I would just be doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is like, whatever I'm doing for free, I understand that if I get good at it, I have hours of mastery is what they call it, hours of mastery or hours of experience, and you can usually get paid off of something you master. Um, so it, it would, I would probably get, be getting paid for lifting or something like that, um, training people, speaking to people, motivating people and things like that, um, but yeah. Apart from music, what else do you feel passionate about? I feel really passionate about like helping people. Um, I think that like deep down from like all the dark aesthetic from my music, and everything like that. I think you can tell from the moment you like meet me, especially in real life, but I think that like, that's why my music is able to do what it does. I feel like people can really feel that like, yo, I'm not out here sacrificing goats and drinking goat blood. Like I, I actually care about those intrusive thoughts you have when you're by yourself. And um, if you pay real close attention to my music, it's me, my music is, oh, I had this thought, this how I think about this like type deal like that. So I'm really passionate about helping people. I think some people are sent to this planet to heal others. Um, and those people understand that you have to heal yourself before you can heal other people. So, you know, I've just been on that mission of like making sure everybody understands that like, I'm no different from you. Like the only difference is my mindset. And that's the only thing people tell me all the time. Like, yo, your mindset is crazy. It's like, it's not really crazy. It's crazy if you're not there, but once you get there, it's not really that crazy. Cause I don't know, Kevin Hart, Denzel, what, like, all, all, any of these guys that you, anybody you guys look up to, Gary Vee, any of these guys, Grant Cardone, they got the same mindset. It's a, I can do anything mindset. I'm betting on me. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to kick my ass type shit. So it's like, shit, man, if I want to live those, that life, if I want to have private justice, I might as well, I always say, like, I might as well imitate those guys. It's like, if you was trying to shoot a jump shot and you wanted to shoot like Michael, you would watch how he was shooting the jump shot. Well, okay, well, those guys are living a life where, they can get a private jet and go to the Super Bowl. So, all right, what time do they wake up for? All right, right, roger that, let's go. So that's my mindset about that. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. <laughs> Word of advice for someone just starting out. So that's a bit like a vague question, but if you mean just starting out music, it's gonna kind of be the same type of advice that I said earlier, which is like kind of just appreciate the present, appreciate the fact that you are starting out. Don't be too hard on yourself. Like if you release a song and that shit doesn't pop, 
a lot of people fail when they like start a YouTube channel and they're like, oh man, I uploaded every day for a year and it didn't pop. Well, what if you're supposed to upload for five years straight consecutively and then you get 100 million views on every video? What if it's five years? So um, David Goggins has this saying where he's like, I'll watch grass grow for 20 years if that's what it takes. And that would be my best piece of advice. It's like something like that. Like understand that like, yo, if it is, if your journey is 20 years, 25 years, if you're, if for whatever reason, let's say your music doesn't blow until after you're not here in the physical form anymore, are you like willing to take that journey still? And um, don't be too, you know, caught up in the numbers and everything like that. I always tell people, yo, just post and keep going, you know? So that's my, that's my biggest advice is just post and keep going. Just keep going. You never know. You could wake up tomorrow and Drake is playing your song on his IG story. You don't, you don't know. Literally anything is possible. And I'm, I'm, I'm. Speaking from somebody who I woke up and Marilyn Manson knew who I was type shit. I'm, I'm not speaking like, oh, I believe it. I'm faking it till I make it. No, it's like, no, that was really me. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helps. What got you into making music? Um, what got me into making music was that there was uncles and 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 and, um, and dads and 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 friends and just there was people making music, freestyling and stuff like that. Just thought it was cool. Um, the the biggest inspiration was Lil Wayne, of course, but um, it was you know people doing it and just like me having a thought like, well shit, y'all making videos and shit, but shit y'all, you know, not like judging anybody, but like shit y'all not. Y'all not touring yet, y'all. Y'all motherfuckers got tour. I always wanted to travel and everything. I just always resonated with like, yo, man, if you do something and you crush it, you'll be able to like travel and see the world for free type shit. So I'm just like, I gotta crush this shit. Like I, I can't just freestyle in front of the homies. Like that's not gonna cut it. So, you know, and just realizing that like the reaction and how people received me being a voice. That always made me feel good. So like every time I touch the stage, that makes me feel fucking awesome. And seeing people's faces light up really fucking makes me feel like I'm helping people like want to like live and want to enjoy life and experience, you know, like the good things that life has to offer. Because, you know, depending on how you look at it, this where we at right now today, especially like you could say like, yo, this shit's messed up. But like there's always beauty in the, the ugliness is always so. People's reaction and the ideology of, yo, man, if you master something, the world, the universe gonna get out your way type shit, that shit always, like, push me forward. Always. What was your favorite song to rap to? If you're talking about, for me personally, um, me personally, I don't know, I love all my music. If you're talking about my music, like what song do I like to rap for me? Um, currently, I would say something like, like PDL, I really love that song. Um, but if you're talking about just in general, literally anything Lil Wayne, anything Lil Wayne that I was finding off of LimeWire, um, cause Lil Wayne is the shit, that motherfucker's a goat. Time. Go, go, go time. Y'all know what time it is. Time to go 200, 200,000. About to go crazy in here, so. You know what I'm saying? Excited to, see. Excited to see some, you know, fans, some Berlin fans, some Germany fans. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to all, everybody that traveled to come to this show. You know? And. Yeah, the people who couldn't make it, we're going we gonna to make sure you never miss another one. Because that's very important. So, we're about to, we're about to get it. True, true.
stop doing that. Yo, y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all let me know in the comments how much y'all pay for them. Let's go for 50 bands. First one going for 50 bands. Second one going for 100 bands. What you talking about? Yeah, this has been safe original. Nigga, fuck you. Yes, sir. Fuck out of here, man. Handcraft it, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First show in Berlin. My name is Will. My Instagram Will Music underscore Self Gang. You you talk, you talk Let's go. From. Yeah, I'm from Sweden. Shit, I forgot. Yeah. I'm from Sweden. Yeah, like my, came like my, all the way from Sweden. Like my nigga Young Lee. Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, you know about yeah. Young Lee? Yeah, I was about that yesterday. Hell yeah. yeah. He a legend, bro. Yeah. I'm Kaiba from Germany. Yeah, I got the triple cup. You know what it is? Yeah, we playing. We go hard today. It's gonna be fire. We here in my city, gang. On my Instagram, my ad is Kaiba755. Check this out. Yo, what's up? It's Jay Sway. I flew all the way from Sweden out here to Berlin, Germany. About to get lit. I came to fuck it up tonight, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check me out on Spotify at Jay Sway and on Instagram at Jay Sway XG. You know what I'm saying? We self made, we turned up. We about to fucking go crazy tonight. Rockstar Vibe today. Yo, guys, what's up here? We're here at Bill Saber's vlog right now. My name is Azad, the producer in the game. Uh, you, buy, you guys better follow me on Instagram at uh, Azai Music. Fucking, we're about to get turned up tonight in Berlin. We're out here in Germany right now with the whole squad. Let's fucking go. Yo, yo, what up, everybody? This is Chainsaw Hill in the cup. We just performed and killed it out here in Berlin. I just want to say shout out to Cam. Shout out my nigga Ryan behind the camera. Shout out my nigga Bill Saber. Shout out Mama Saber. Shout out MS Docs, my brother. You know what I'm saying? We're out here. And that's about it. So, later. Bro, have you seen the turn?
Some guy with a goddess, and she came through topless, and she came through bopping. Can I hear that? And she came through bopping. Swear to God, they can't stop it. Give a fuck who knocking. QB, no option, no fear, no caution, no fear, no caution. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Came through a hard body. Listen up, I got it. Meet some guy with a goddess, and she came through topless, and she came through bopping. Swear to God, they can't stop it. Give a fuck who knocking. QB, no option, no fear, no caution, no fear, no caution. Yeah. Kann ich dich denn so 
Bombe schauen, wer das echt was du rappst, könnte ich besser glauben. Du mit Box hat schon immer ja, besser auf, ja, ja. What the fuck, let's go. Wer schwer, hättet ihr mehr Hass im Bauch, hättet ihr das Fake, kein Bock. Ich hau auf die Szene mit Punchlines, Fake ist out. Du lebst von Deeds, ich rat dir lob. Sit in my ride, I gotta hit him. We hit him and go. One more time. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. Sit in my ride, we gotta get him. We hit him for show. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. Uh, sit in my ride, I gotta get him. Hit him show. Hit him and go. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. Hit him show. Hit him for show. All right. <clears throat> you can bring it back to the. Sit in my ride, I gotta hit him. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. We hit him for show. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. We hit him and go. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. We hit him for show. Sit in my ride, I gotta get him. We hit him and go. Like from right here. To like the next, the next eight. The next eight? Yeah. That's like you also want to hear some chorus? Yeah. No, no, just a just little bit verse? of it. Yeah, just, just a little, little bit. bit of the chorus. Right, we hit him, sit in my ride, I gotta get him We hit him and go Catch me riding in my pocket, bitch, you know we jack it, jack None of these niggas really poppin', I'm just bitchin' out of town His wife is rubbin' on my dick and that bitch still inside you Drop 40 racks and watch it stab me, you in my closet Slap it, top it, baddest bitches bop it Love it when they toxic and they love me cause I got it Little boy, you ain't no top it Drop that shit, we saw you flop it Flow to electric in this bitch, I'm static shocking Sick and they love me cause I got it Little boy, you ain't no top it Drop that shit, we saw you flop it Flow to electric in this bitch, I'm static shocking I'm gonna ride and I got side, you know, I'm gonna slap in the mozzie. I'm with this bitch, I'm with this boo, you know that bitch wanna top me. We come with beef, the nigga was dodging, he never wanted a problem. Alright, pause. Hey, if I wanted, I got it. Hey, I pop his hand in the morning, went straight to the lab, straight to the office. You know I'm popping. I'm out in Berlin with them real niggas with the click and the posse. I had a bitch up on Tinder, you know she gon' top me. I had a bitch up on Tinder, you know she gon' top me. Nigga out the city, and I'm always flossing. I bought in the money, went straight to the lab, straight to the office. She wanna fuck with a nigga, cause she want to lit, she know I'm poppin'. I'm out in Berlin with them real niggas who be taking a positive. I had a bitch up on Tinder, you know she gon' top me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't gonna tell you real yet. I ain't gonna tell you real yet. Okay, yeah. All right, keep that. Let me hear it. That shit's gonna sound crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. Cause then I'm gonna just add to your verse. Okay, so. Oh, shit. When I'm not in the studio, I'm with a bad bitch. People see me.
me taking up and they can't stand it Always turn up the scene and when I'm off it Off the gas when I pass it they be coughing <laughs> Motherfucking coughing Want the smoke, I don't care They is talking In my bag, if I want it, I'm a cop it Out in Berlin going crazy with the rock shit When I'm not in the studio, I'm with a bad bitch People see me taking up and they can stand it Always turn up the scene and when I'm off it Off the gas, when I pass it, they be coughing <laughs>